456번. Yes. 456번. It's me. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Yujun Sam here, your Korean teacher. How are you guys doing? Have you guys watched Squid Game? 오징어 게임 보셨어요? If you have watched, you probably recognize the music and my bag number 456. Right, the question is, in fact, is how much did you understand it without subtitles? The chances that you're putting maybe 0, 30, 50, 80, 100? Well, if you're hitting 100, that's good. Perfect for you. But if you're hitting less than 80%, probably the chances are falling in these particular scenarios. Let me tell you. One, you never learned Korean before. So, it's fair enough you don't understand what's really going on. Second, you just started to learn language, Korean language. So you develop new interest in learning Korean language. Third scenario is you learn Korean quite some time, but without subtitles, I still don't really get it, right? And regardless which scenario that you're falling into, there's one thing that you have to remember. It's like some kind of, some kind of secret for you. It's called parallel learning or balanced learning. There are seven things, seven pillars are supporting your language. What are those seven of them? Let's grow. L E V S G R W. Okay, all these things are supporting your language skill. So let's say one of pillars, maybe grammar. You're good at grammar, but you're not good at expressions and vo vocabularies. So you can't really construct a sentence to deliver to the other person. Let's say you're good at grammar, you're weak at you know uh, vocabularies. Unfortunately, your level will be determined based on these vocabularies, which is the the lowest. Lowest will determine your level. So you have to bring it out. That's we call it balance or parallel. All right, the question is, how do I help my students do this kind of parallel learning? That's one thing that we develop with practice pass. The practice pass it consists of many different types of quizzes. Wow. Lots of different types of quizzes. And that quizzes will drive you to do some activities, action, taking action. Watching dramas or watching YouTube will not make, never make you fluent in language. So these quizzes will be actually designed for you to do some taking action. And there's hundreds of it. Hundreds of it. And the good thing is, these quizzes getting updated every week. So there will be a new quiz set coming on every week and you will get to practice more and more. So you will never get bored, you will continue to practice with me and I will be there as well, right? So I will be supporting you. If you have a question, I will always attend to you guys. One more thing, right? And Yubito, ever since born until today, we are going to hit wow! 20,000 active users in the platform. 20,000. This is amazing number, don't you think? And we never thought about this many people will be joining in here. I really appreciate it and, and I really thank you for all the effort and hard work that you guys done and learning with me. I really, really do. Okay? And in conjunction of this great event achievements, we are going to launch this practice pass with the exclusive rate for the first 500 users. First 500 users. Just don't miss it. It's a great deal for all of you. Many learners from all over the world embark their learning journey of Korean in Yubito. And I'm pretty sure that you will be enjoying these practice paths with me. I will see you guys inside practicing all the way through. Okay? Thank you very much. See you. 감사합니다.